You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The main reason why we should be growing our own food at all times, at all times. Stay tuned. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Been pretty busy lately, but uh, hadn't forgot about you all. This car will hurry up and go by. Man, what is going on? Um, yeah, I've been looking at uh, a few headlines, which led me to, I think it's the FDA website. And I'm looking at all the recalls they've been having on food items. You know, a couple weeks ago, uh, there was a story that came out that the cereal, Lucky Charms, was making people sick. And they were, it's just not five or 10, 100 complaints. There are, there, are, there are like thousands of complaints out there. Like last I checked, it was like over 3,000 complaints. Well, people claiming that Lucky Charms cereal, if I'm not mistaken, they're still made by General Mills, uh, was making them sick. I'm like, wow, right? Then you have certain other vegetables supposedly containing salmonella. So it made me think like, wow, what the heck can we eat now? Go on, the, go on the FDA website and look at the food recalls. And uh, safetynews.com also have some information on recent recalls. Even uh, Gordon's, you know, the Gordon's Fish, I think it's Gordon's Fish Sandwiches. They've been recalled. And it just makes me wonder, you know, what are they, what are they doing with our foods right now that are in the stores? Like, what are they doing? I know the camera may be shaking. My apologies. I have it attached to my mirror up here, but I may have to change it because it seems like it's a little more shaky up there than it is. Uh, it's actually more stable. My other phone holder, it actually broke. So I had to, this is the last resort. Um, yeah, what are they doing to our food? I mean, we put a lot of trust in these so-called companies and we put a lot of trust in FDA, USDA, but man, there's so many foods out there. First of all, just the type of foods are not healthy for us. Just the type of foods. But then you add to that the fact that there are a lot of foods that are being recalled. And we don't realize it. Like every time a food is recalled, it's not going to be on mainstream media. You may not even see it on social media. You have to actually look up and do your research and find out what's been recalled. And seem like on a daily basis, foods get recalled. I wasn't aware of that. Like almost on a daily basis, foods get recalled. It's crazy. But that's why I say that we need to, honestly, at this point, there's no excuse for us not knowing how to grow our own foods. You know, plant, you know, plant our own vegetables. You know, for those who have the land, you know, make sure you have your, uh, you can, you can actually have your own your own cattle, you know, your own source of meat. You know, pigs, whatever. Have your own source of meat if you can. If we have to come together and let's say, you know, find five or six people that we really, you know, trust and that are like-minded, because you know, I always go back to the like-minded thing. Uh, man, just come together, purchase some land, you know, have your own cattle out there, like have your own farm, your own ranch out there. You know, so you don't have to rely on things that the government produces, uh, quote unquote produces. Um, I mean, there have also been so many stories where you've seen where farmers and have been actually asked or paid to to destroy their crops for one reason or another, regardless of what the excuse is, 
it's ha it, it's happening and it has happened. We need to become more self-reliant. I'm just telling you. Because it's almost like they're going to try to get us one way or another. Either they're going to get us at the fast food place. Most of that stuff is poison, if not all of it. Then we do go decide. Then we do decide to go to the grocery store and purchase our food. Then you have a lot of recalls there. So what do you do? Like I said, become self reliant. That that that's what uh that's what I believe. And it goes back to something I said a minute ago. Surround and I always say this: surround yourself yourselves with like minded people. Because like-minded people, you can come together, you can protect each other. Even, even for those who pray, you pray with each other. You share information. Yeah, I understand, you know, a certain billionaire just purchased a certain social media platform. But still, don't get too comfortable. Do not get too comfortable. We still have to rely on the people that we know as individuals, that we trust as individuals. Honestly, I'm the type of person, I really don't trust anyone who's a so-called part of the elite. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many decisions they make or what they purchase or what they sell, at the end of the day, they don't care about the common person. Right? If you agree with me, hey, let me know in the comments if you agree with me on that one. But back to the subject subject at hand is, yeah, if you don't know how to plant your own food, learn. If you, if you don't have the finances to go and buy your own land, get together with some people, come together, <clears throat> excuse me, come together and do what you all can do to buy land. You know, one person may have great credit. The other one may not have any great credit, but they have finances. Uh, the third one may have the knowledge, the know-how. If all three come together and do what they need to do, that's an ultimate team right there. You can go out and plant whatever you want on your own land. And of course, food shortages. We have not seen the worst of food shortages yet. You know, back in the holidays, you know, there were people who were like, oh, the food is only short because uh, of the holidays. And then we we're into February and there were still food shortages. So the people who were saying it was only just because of the holidays, where did those people go? I haven't heard from them lately. Then, of course, fuel prices, they're not where they should be, but they're still pretty high. That's going to affect transportation, obviously, which is also going to affect food and food availability. So we need to get ourselves out of that system of go to the grocery store and get everything. Go to a fast food restaurant and feed yourself. We have to get out of that system. That's what that's that's all. You know, that that's that's the way I think. Because think about it, everything, almost everything in our lives, in some way, somehow, is dependent on quote unquote leadership. I'm gonna tell you this. If you haven't gotten into survival mode, you better get there fast. Because there's gonna come a time where everything that we've depended upon physically as far as certain grocery stores, certain online merchants may not be there. So keep that in mind and take advantage of everything while you still can. Because as you can see, the places we shop, the food we eat is getting worse and worse by the day. The people
people who are supposedly have the power and authority to or are they supposed to govern these things they don't care so you can't put your trust in them it's in a sense like we have to do it on our own with the help of God we have to do it on our own I mean that's where we're at right now Yeah, so right now, I'm actually on my iPad here. Uh, I'm on uh, foodsafetynews.com. And it's talking about Gordon's, Gordon's recalls fish sandwiches for bone fragments. And this is back on April 28, 2022. Bone fragments in fish sandwiches caused Gordon's seafood to recall the products according to a notice published Thursday by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the Colchester, Massachusetts company recalled the frozen seafood item, Gordon's Fish Sandwich, 100% whole fillets, 18.3 ounce, right? And that's just that. That's not including the other ones. Uh, food and Safety News, once again, Food and Safety News, right? Customer complaints, customer complaint prompts USDA recall of 15 tons of ready-to-eat chicken fillets. This is on April 29, 2022. So, within the past few days, both of these have happened. Wayne Farms LLC of Decatur, Alabama is recalling 30,285 pounds of ready-to-eat chicken breast fillet product that may be undercooked the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food and Safety and Inspection Service announced today. Quote, the problem was discovered when the, farm, when the firm received a customer complaint that the RTE, ready to eat, chicken product appeared to be undercooked, unquote, according to the recall notice. That's just those two. If you go on the USDA website, there are plenty of other items that's been recalled. And not only food, we're talking about, you know, lotion, you know, so many different things, right? That's why we need to become self-reliant. And I think it's weird how certain agencies or certain groups of people, it's like certain things, they recall and say it's not healthy for you. But other things that aren't healthy for you, they won't stop or they won't recall. Just saying. You can, you know, let that uh, BB rattle around a little bit. But bottom line is we have to become more self-reliant as far as when it comes to food and, uh, and the safety of our food, the production of our food. There are too many people around here in this country that know how to plant crops, that know how to nurture and grow and raise, you know, cattle and, and, and pigs and chickens and whatever. Too many people know. There's no reason for us to not either be doing it ourselves or team up with someone that can help us do it. Because honestly, it's probably going to come to that. I mean, we're there right now. If, you, if you're looking at the recalls, but also the food shortages, we're there right now. Be careful what you're going to store and get. Yes, continue to prep. Get everything you can while you can. But just keep an eye on what's being recalled because you don't want to go in the store and hope. I mean, hopefully by then the stores will, will, will have uh, removed these items off the shelves. But just in case, you don't want to go in the store and grab something off the shelf that's been recalled. Or you don't want to be bartering with, bartering with someone and they give you an item that's been recalled for salmonella or listeria, whatever you call it. You don't want that. So keep an eye on what's being re recalled. And if you have like-minded people in your area, spread the word. Like we should all be sharing this information with each other. That's just my thought on that. Uh, what do you all think? You know, is it getting a little dangerous to go to the grocery store? It's been dangerous to eat fast food. Do you all think we should partner up and team up with someone that we know 
and overcome all of this. Please like, please subscribe, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And as always, get ready, stay ready. God bless. Ooh.